I'm Nick Ravellis, the Geisel Director of Education and Outreach for San Diego Opera. My guest today is the director of our production of The Barber of Seville by Rossini, Herb Kellner. Herb, welcome. Thank you. Thank Good you to have you here. Now, um, this is a very unique production of The Barber of Seville. Yeah. I, I just want to give uh, the folks uh, in our audience a little bit of a background on how the production came to be. Uh -huh. I say it's unique because many of the visual el elements in the show are based on the paintings of René Magritte. Correct. And I just think that's fascinating. But uh, tell us how it how it got there, how it, how it was created. Well, it's kind of interesting because um, a group of us, um, John Copley, um, John Conklin, who is the designer, set designer, Michael Stennett, who is the costume designer, uh, and myself, we were all in Los Angeles doing Rossini's Tancredi. Um, and we got a call from Chicago, from, from Lyric Opera, from the artistic director, then uh, artistic director, Artist Grant. Um, looking for a, a new barber. Um, they had had a situation with a barber they thought they were going to do, and they couldn't do it. Um, they needed something quickly. Mm -hmm. They needed something that would work. Um, they called. John was, uh, Copley was a little undecided as to whether he really wanted to do it because it was something that was going to have to be conceived, designed, built, and directed within about a seven month period. Oh my god, that's unusual. Uh, yeah, because usually these things take about, what, two, two well, years? Yeah, usually it's about, a, you know, in the, you, usually at least a year before you're, you, you're, you've had time, maybe six months to conceive an idea, you present that to the company, and then they go out and take bids and have it built, etc., etc., etc. But it's usually about a year and a half to two year mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. process. Uh, but this was going to be a very quick, short process, and um, uh, they weren't sure, but they started, sat down and started talking about it. What a lot of people don't know about John Copley is John was an art major um, at university. Oh. And art, um, typically in a lot of his productions, artwork has a lot of... Uh, mm -hmm. Effect. He references. He does. Um, his Lucia, for instance, is based on Dutchman, the, the, the Dutch masters. Uh -huh. um, he, you know, he he just he has that interesting um, style that way. Um, and the discussion, we they were looking for something that was light and airy with very bold colors, mm -hmm. because we all felt that you know Barber is very light and airy and very very colorful and very broad and. Right. Um, and um, Magritte came up and we started looking, they started looking at uh, uh, paintings and, and it's, we started realizing that there were so many paintings that we could reference. Mm. Um, on top of just the, the things that are so clear like the, the Magritte rose and the Magritte apple, there's also um, a Magritte painting of a ball with the instruments in it and stuff, and we basically adapted that, put Rossini's face in the middle of it, and it became the show screen. Um, so we started realizing there were so many things we can reference uh, from a visual point of view. Um, uh, his reigning men, um, the, the comb and brush, the derby hat, that were so Magritte, but yet fit so well with what we, they wanted to do. Um, that it all sort of fell in line. So was it serendipity, really, or was there was there one key painting or image that 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 John connected with? That he well, I think it was the rain. I think it was the raining men that started it. Uh -huh. I mean, you you start from the you know the, so clearly that was your backdrop for the for the storm scene. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, and I think from there it just you know and the colors. I mean, the Magritte colors, which are so, and if you, when you come and you see our set, you, you know, you'll see that the colors are very bright. Well, and they're very intense as well. Exactly. Not just bright, but they're, they're really very intense. The reds are really, fully really, saturated, really, yeah. really, really red. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, I think that, um, I just think that uh, all those things sort of came together at the right time for them. What year was this? This was um, it, the the winter of '88 when we were in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and then we premiered it in February of of '89. Um, 
And you mentioned also that uh, working with the Chicago Art Institute. Oh yeah, when we when we premiered this that winter, the, the art the Chicago Art Institute had um, simultaneously did a Magritte exhibit. So it was it, it just a a huge cultural uh, attraction. A celebration of Magritte. Time. Yeah, Magritte it had a yeah a huge. Um, uh, attraction for everybody in the city at that time. Everybody was talking about Magritte. <laughs> and eating green apples and the, uh, the, the I imagine <laughs> umbrellas so. and the, right. whole, uh, the uh, derby hats. And the derby hats, yeah. That's marvelous. Is there, is there anywhere in the production, it's been such a long time since I've seen it, because I don't think we've done it since... 92, in, I think yeah, it was 20 years ago. Yeah. I was going to say, 20 years ago. Is there a reference to the pipe? To the pipe? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's there. It's there. You've got to look hard to see it. But anyway, on the show screen, aside from the, the ball with Rossini's face, it says uh, on the house right side at the bottom, it says, D'après Magritte. Uh, so if this really is Barber of Seville, D'après Magritte. And it works, doesn't it? It really does. I mean, uh, this has been a very successful production. Uh, we've done it everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's uh, never failed to please. Um, it, it's it's fun. Uh, the singers enjoy doing it, mm -hmm. it and uh, the audience uh, gets uh, gets the jokes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's you know, Rossini has given us a wonderful piece to begin with. Yeah. And then it, we've taken it and 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 tried to very lovingly. Um, um, tweak it and and enjoy it ourselves, and so and we have some fun. There are things that happen that if if you haven't seen this barber, if you haven't even seen, if you've seen other barbers, that will surprise you. <laughs> we hope, we hope. I mean, it's meant to be that way, but but not, um, not in an irre irreverent way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the whole thing is about. It, it, it is about Rossini and about really enjoying this piece. Right, right. Well, and on top of that, I guess I, I have to say, since I've met all of them now and heard all of them, this is a stellar cast. Yeah, it is. To it be, really is. To be placing into this production, I think it's going to be even more fun. It, it, it is fun uh, when you're working with uh, wonderful singers who are uh, really wonderful colleagues, good acting singers. It, um, it's a lot of fun because yeah. you you can do uh, things um, uh, that maybe you couldn't do otherwise. But I mean, it's it's a huge. It's been it, we've been at it a week now, and it's been it's been great fun. Terrific. Thank you so much for coming. In. You're welcome.